and the ripple effect of heavy rains, not just today, but last week causing a big effect on the gas industry. We're seeing empty gas stations more on the fuel shortage that's coming into South Florida right now. Matt Sesney with more on that. This gas station on Southern Boulevard in West Palm Beach does have gas. They got a delivery over the weekend. But the situation in Fort Lauderdale with the flooding last week prevented thousands of gas trucks from making deliveries. And now it's caused confusion, chaos, and even panic. This is the South Florida version of winning these days, finding a gas station with gas. I only went to one petrol station and I, all the pumps were closed. He found gas at Southern and Parker. Just a couple of miles away, disappointment. There's no gas. In this part of Florida, gas comes from one place, Port Everglades, arriving by ship and put in tankers, right next to Fort Lauderdale Airport, where flooding last week shut it all down. And now about half of the port's fuel terminals are operational. It's not a supply issue, it's a distribution uh, issue and the supply chain issue that we're working through. Uh, right now. Be patient, he says, as gas tankers wait on long lines to fill up. And the delays leave some gas stations dry and others getting deliveries. It's kind of the benefit of being in this business for so long, for like 40 years, that we have a good relationship at the court, port, a good relationship with our jobber, or the transporter. Owner Alex Fernandez says it also helps that he's an independent station, not relying on one parent company. Our, our fuel came in. But regardless, all stations are relying on one port for fuel deliveries. And one storm has created a big supply chain disruption. What we kind of find surprising is all the years we've had hurricanes, we've never had this issue. Usually we're told Port Everglades has 12 terminals for filling up tanker trucks, but because some were damaged in the flooding last week, only seven right now are operational. Still, we're told things should be getting back to normal in a few days as more tankers fill up and deliver gas. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.